So I'm back, guys, and with a review, I watched The Strangers Chapter 1, which is currently out now on digital if you want to check it out. And I'm going to give you my reaction. Before I do, I want to get to the synopsis of this film, which basically it is the same as the first movie. So this one's a little bit of a change, I guess you can say. Instead of the couple being home, being terrorized by the strangers, this couple is out of town. So what happens is this couple's going out of town. They want to stop at this uh, small town just to get a bite to eat and the when they get there, they approach these people in the diner. They are just weird as heck. No explanation what's wrong with these people. Who they, Why are they acting like this way? But they're freaking weird in this town. And, of course, while they're there, their car breaks down. And they get, you know, when they get it repaired but for the time being, they get offered to stay at this remote cabin in the town. And just, you know, just there just to rest and stuff like that. And, of course, what happens is the strangers appear, start terrorizing the couple, taunting them. And the couple has to survive and survive the night of this nightmarish night against these three mass killers. And it's basically what the movie's about. It's the same as the first film. So I might be alone in this, guys. I know a lot of people was giving this movie a lot of crap, but I actually enjoyed this film. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I actually enjoyed it. But there's some parts on there that will make you scream at the screen of how dumb these people are in this film. And I can't remember how Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman's characters were the, the first couple in the original movie. I think they were just as dumb too because I'm like, dude, these couple had lots of chances, especially the, the, the man, the male character right here, the, couple, the part of the couple. He had a chance. I'm not going to say what happens, but he had a freaking chance. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, like I said, it has the same lines, the infamous lines is Tamara home. Even at the very end of the film, you know, the the couple asked why they're doing this, and they said, Because you're here. You know, same lines as the first movie. So he takes a lot of stuff from the original movie and he put it into this, you know, with the killers writing on the walls and stuff like that. But I would I would say this. The plus about this movie is I really enjoyed The Strangers again. I thought The Strangers was back, had that creep factor again, how they just pop out of nowhere. And I thought they did a really good job with The Strangers still. I'm not sure I'm not sure there's the same actors playing The Strangers. Probably different actors playing them. But I really enjoyed The Strangers in this movie. I thought they were still good. Um, the couple, they were fine. I don't think they were horrible. They were just not too bright. <laughs> they were really, really dumb. And... Like I said, it's typical of a slasher, slasher genre. You're always going to get stupid characters doing stupid things, making stupid decisions. And that's basically what this couple was doing. But um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I actually want to see a follow-up. I want to see this trilogy. I want to see what they can do next in part two. Maybe they can, they can do better than what they did in this one. Maybe a little bit different too. So I'm willing to give it a chance. I know it didn't do very well at the box office and people did not like this movie whatsoever. But I hope to see a continuation of this because there is, it, of course it has a, cliff, a cliffhanger ending. It has a mid-credit scene as well, setting up for a sequel. I'm not sure they're gonna bring this actress back or not. Not really sure. Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm not really sure they're bringing her back in particular, but I do want to see more of this and what else the strangers will go to lengths to do to kill more people. So I'm actually interested in this. And like I said before, guys, I did not hate this, but but I did not love this as well. So for me personally, with the rating, I would give it. I would give it a. I would give it a 6.5 out of 10. I still think the first one's still good, but it just taking a lot of stuff from the first film, the dialogue, uh, they cost a couple as well, and, you know, same thing they saw in the first movie. So, to me, in my opinion, there still really was no reason to reboot this mo these movies at all. I don't know what else they plan on doing the next film. I hope they don't rehash the <laughs> last The Pray at Night one from the original movie, the sequel. I mean, to me, I'd rather have seen just a third film in that series. You know, one of the strangers get, get killed. A lot of strangers got to get killed in the last one. So could have been more people, in my opinion. They could have they done something like that. But um, I want to I want to want to see what they do more with this and hope it be a little bit different than what they did with the sequel in the original film. So... I didn't hate it, guys. So 6.5 out of 10 for me. So that's my that's my rating.